Hi, this is Anne with Fiber Designs by Anne, and this is part two of painted fabric using photo paper. In this part, we're going to be quilting a fish and the quilt. So this is a piece that I created a while ago when I was first trying out this technique, and I'm going to put a fish on it because it just looked like splashing waves to me, splashing water. Yeah, so I drew a little fish. And then I put it in Photoshop on my computer and I skewed it a little bit and made it the size that I wanted on here. So to apply it on here, I'm going to, uh, this is a piece will be the top of my, my little art quilt. I'm going to use a product called Super Solvi, which is the Sulky product. I'm not paid by anybody I'm talking about, any of the products I'm talking about in this video. At this point, I'm not paid by them. I just like the product, so I'm using them. And I'm going to use their, uh, also Sulky, their uh, KK2000 Temporary sp Spray Based. So I'm going to put my Solvi on top of my drawing, and I'm going to draw around this. This drawing is a little stylized because I was going to do it in hand embroidery and uh, also meandering, which is my doodling. But for this, I'm going to just be doing it on my quilting, my sit down quilting machine. So I'm not going to do those real fancy uh, design marks. Doesn't even have to be real straight. Knowing me, I won't even stay on the lines. <laughs> slide it off and see if I have it all, which it's easy to miss on here because it's clear and it's hard to see. Unless you're using a color that would not be black, that might be a good idea. So then I'm going to take my top and I could sandwich this with my, my batting and my backing, but I'm going to just figure out where I want it on here which direction I want it, I think. That's probably pretty good. And then I'm thinking I'll pin it. Probably wouldn't be necessary, just, just so it stays put while I'm doing this. Sometimes the spray can cause it to um, blow a little bit. And I actually shouldn't do this right here because of it being inside in the in the camera, but I'm going to just See if I can catch it. So that should stay on there while I quilt it. Now I have a backing and batting I'm going to put my piece on here. I could have been a little more generous with that spray, but since I'm inside and below my camera, I don't think it would be such a great idea. Let's see. And this is sort of just funky up there. I'm not sure I'm going to even keep that part. So I'll go up there a little ways. So I'm going to go and, and sandwich this together, and then I will show you how I'm going to quilt it. At my quilting, sit down quilting machine, I will use my gloves because I like using gloves. That's a personal thing. And I'll pull the bobbin thread up from the bobbin. And then I'll just go.
Because the thread is light color, I decided to stitch over the, on the fish a few times so that it would stand out a little better. And you'll see I'm going to do some jump stitches between the eye, the gill, and gills, and some other parts. And then I will just speed this up to the next part. I'm going to quilt on this some more, but I'm going to take the salvia off, and so I have a little container of water and a cotton swab, and I'm going to just moisten around the stitches. I was thinking about doing it in black, but uh, the thread work, but I didn't um, want it to be quite so harsh. Then I take a, a lot of times I take a needle or a pin, and just you can see that black line where the marker was, the permanent marker, and just pull that off. So I'll just work away at this and get that all the little pieces that are inside off and then I'll clip my threads where I jumped and I'll take it back to the quilting machine. The fish is finished and now I'm going to stitch around the background only in the white areas and uh, because this takes a little bit of time I'll probably speed this up once you can see how I begin.
while the quilting is finished now, I'm not sure how I'm going to finish this piece. When I do, I will post it on my blog. Maybe I'll put it in a video and you'll be able to see. I don't think I'm going to bind it. I'm going to do something a little bit different with it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. And be sure and tap the bell to get notification of my newest videos. This has been Anne. Thanks a lot for watching.